The power to vote is the power to elect. Democratic governments are elected across the world by the same power of the vote. Making this simpler and effortless is the electronic voting machine. The EVM is a revolutionary device in the hands of the electoral officials to guarantee an election that is highly secure, voter-friendly and easy to use. More than a million of these EVMs were used in the 2009 general elections in India. Today the electronic voting machines have made an easy passage into the whole of India and have transformed the way people vote. The EVM follows a fixed voting sequence. First level checking, EVM setting, mock poll, poll, close of poll and result declaration. The EVM consists of two units, a control unit and the ballot unit. The control unit lies with a presiding officer or a polling officer and the ballot unit is placed inside the voting compartment used by the voter to vote. Instead of issuing a ballot paper, the polling officer in charge of the control unit presses the ballot button. This will enable the voter to cast the vote by pressing the button on the ballot unit against the candidate and symbol of his choice. The ballot unit has a ballot sheet which can be printed in any language. The name and symbol is printed on the ballot sheet. The voter presses the button against the symbol. Electronic voting machines retain all the characters of voting by ballot papers while making polling a lot more convenient and voter friendly. Being fast and absolutely reliable, the EVM saves considerable time, money and workforce. It helps in maintaining total voting secrecy. EVMs can be used in areas with no power connections as they can run on an ordinary 7.5 volt alkaline battery. One ballot unit can accommodate 16 candidates. Up to 64 candidates can be accommodated by connecting four ballot units in series. The machine ensures that only a single vote is captured by the voter. As soon as the voter presses the button on the ballot unit, the vote is recorded and the machine gets locked. Even if one presses that button further or any other button, no further vote will be recorded. This way, the EVMs ensure the principle of one person, one vote. The cost of acquiring EVMs for conducting elections is recovered in the first election itself. The cost of subsequent elections is significantly lower. The electoral authorities also save significantly on printing of ballot papers, their transportation, storage and there is substantial reduction in the counting staff. The machines are easier to transport compared to conventional ballot boxes as they are lighter, portable and come with carrying cases. Results can be declared at the press of a button. Counting of the votes is very fast and the result can be declared within 2 to 3 hours as compared to 30 to 40 hours under the ballot paper system. Invalid votes become a non-issue with EVMs as conventional ballot paper system requires the voter to stamp on the symbol of the candidate of his choice and fold before putting it into the ballot box. If the stamp is placed on the wrong place or smudged, it becomes an invalid vote. With EVMs, the voter has to simply press the button against the candidate and symbol of his choice and the vote is recorded. The control unit can store the result in its memory till it is cleared for the next elections. Votes stored in the memory is safe even without the battery. The electronic voting machine is completely and comprehensively tamper-proof. The machine uses a one-time programmable chip where the program is fused during the manufacture. This program is unalterable. The circuits are hardwired and cannot be accessed or replaced. A unique serial number is provided to each machine to facilitate tracking of the EVMs during elections. A date and time stamp records the date and time of each vote. These are logged to view the functioning of the EVM for the last 1000 events. EVMs are manufactured in a completely automated manufacturing facility. Let us view this facility. Once the PCBs are manufactured, 100% of the PCBs undergo thermal shock and vibration. The PCBs are tested after thermal shock and vibration. These are put into their carrying cases, 
The carrying cases are then put into the bulk carrying cases. The EVMs are dispatched to the states as designated by the supply order. The EVMs are accompanied by the dispatch documents and the quality certificate. On receipt of the EVMs at the states, the EVMs are stored in the designated storage place. Records prescribed by the Election Commission of India are updated. Next, the acceptance testing is carried out on 100% of the EVMs at the customer's premises. Acceptance testing is done by doing a functional test on the EVM. An acceptance certificate is obtained for the EVMs. The EVMs are stored in the storage places designated by the CEO. The storage place is kept under double lock and key under the control of the district collector. First level checks of EVMs are done before every election in the presence of representatives of political parties. The schedule for FLC is communicated to every national and state level recognized political party in writing by the DEO at least one week before the beginning of the FLC in the district. On the day of the FLC, Representatives of all national and state-level recognized political parties authorized by the district president of the party are allowed to be present. A register is kept by the DEO in which signatures of representatives of all political parties are taken every day as token of their presence. FLC is carried out in a large hall which is fully sanitized to ensure that the hall is free from any other electronic device or components of electronic devices. Every entry to the hall is guarded by the police force. Entry to this hall is only on production of identity cards issued by the DEO. Nobody is allowed to carry any electronic device inside the hall, including mobile phones, camera and spy pens, etc. Similarly, nobody is allowed to carry anything out of the FLC hall. FLC is carried out only by authorized engineers of BEL and ECIL. At the time of FLC, visual inspection and full functionality checks of the control unit and ballot unit is done. BEL and ECIL engineers certify that all the components of the EVMs are original. In 10% of EVMs, at least 1,000 votes are polled during the mock poll. In the rest of the machines, number of votes polled during the mock poll are conducted to the satisfaction of representatives of political parties. Representatives of political parties are allowed to do the mock poll themselves. A printout of the results of the mock poll as well as a sequential printout of every vote polled during the mock poll are then taken out for at least 10% of EVMs and shown to the representatives of the political parties. Representatives of political parties are allowed to pick machines randomly for this purpose. After this, the control unit is sealed with a pink paper seal supplied by the security press NASIC, which also prints the currency notes in the presence of the representatives of the political parties present at the time of the FLC. The pink paper seal is affixed on the portion between the candidate set section and the results section of the control unit, and signatures of the representatives of political parties are taken. Without breaking the seal, no one can access the internal components of the control unit of the EVM. The EVM is first prepared at the returning officer's level about seven days before the poll day. The EVMs for use in an election are chosen on a random basis using randomization techniques. Preparation of the EVM is done with advanced intimation to the candidates. The ballot unit is made ready by inserting in it the ballot paper showing the names and symbols of the candidates and thereafter sealing the ballot unit using thread seals. Signatures of the candidates are obtained on the pink paper seals. The pink seal is then put on the ballot unit. Without breaking the seal, no one can access the internal components of the ballot unit of the EVM. In the control unit, battery is installed. Candidate setting is done.
and battery section sealed. All the candidates are given prior notice about preparation and the whole process is done in the presence of candidates or their agents. While sealing the ballot unit and the battery section of the control unit, the candidates or agents are also permitted to affix their seals thereon. Without breaking this seal, no one can change the number of contesting candidates of the election. After the preparation of the EVMs by the returning officer, 10% of the EVMs are again picked up, chosen at random by the candidates or their agents, and checked again by casting votes and checking the result. One thousand votes are cast, sequential printouts taken and shown to the political party representatives. Thereafter, the EVMs are kept in sealed strong rooms. On the day of the poll, EVMs are sent to the polling booths. On the day of the poll, before the poll starts, a mock poll is conducted in each polling station in which the agents of the candidates are asked to cast vote for their candidates and the results are checked to ensure that the vote cast is correctly recorded and shown in the result. Thereafter, the control unit is cleared of all votes cast at the mock poll. And sealed in the presence of the candidate's agents, who are also permitted to affix their seals thereon. After this, the control unit cannot be opened without breaking the seals, nor the results can be seen or the polled votes can be deleted. Let us view a typical voting sequence. The voters are verified as per the electoral roll and the indelible ink marked. The polling official enables the control unit. The voter votes for the candidate of his choice by pressing the corresponding button on the ballot unit and the vote is cast. Candidates' agents are present during the whole process. After conclusion of the poll, the control unit is closed for poll by pressing the close button, after which no further vote can be recorded in the machine. The control unit and ballot unit are placed in their respective carrying cases and the cases are also sealed. Here again, the agents of the candidates are allowed to put their signature as well. The sealed EVMs are stored in strong rooms under proper security till the counting is done. Such storage centers are also sealed and candidates or their agents are permitted to put their own seals as well. Further, the candidates are allowed to depute their agents to keep watch on the storage centre. These strong rooms are guarded by the armed police force till the counting date. Before counting starts, the agents of the candidates are allowed to inspect the various seals to ensure that every seal is intact and it is only after they are satisfied that the counting is started. Counting is done in front of candidates or their agents. EVMs are brought one at a time to the counting tables. The result button is pressed and the result from the EVMs is shown to the candidates' agents. The results are noted from each EVM separately 
and compiled thereafter. At the end of counting, the EVMs are stored back in the strong room till the next elections.